If you're a fan who thinks Rick and Morty is bad when it has ordinary adventures, and who loves the canonical adventures that alter the lore of animation, this episode is for you. So guys, how are you? I hope you are well, I am the Monio, the interdimensional demon who talks the most about Rick and Morty on YouTube, and you are on my channel. The fifth episode of the seventh season of Rick and Morty premiered with Evil Morty showing his origin, and participating in the episode that many have been waiting for for so long, which is Rick's confrontation with Rick Prime, and there are many fans who love these episodes that alter the canon of history, and the episode was very cool, very creative, full of action, jokes and subversion of expectations, just as we are used to at the level of quality of the series, but this episode sounded to me like the creators of the series, making fun of the fans crazier, who love to say that they understand more than everyone else, that they take everything seriously, and who say that the series has lost its way, and that the adventures are no longer classic. So before talking about this episode itself, let's do a quick contextualization. As many may know, the Rick and Morty fanbase is well known for having very toxic people, who think that Rick and Morty is too intelligent for normal people to understand, since in addition to making science fiction humor, the series often addresses issues such as existentialism, depression, and other more mature themes, even if in a simple way, and this made some fans, over time, place the series at a level that you would need to be very intelligent to understand, these fans always do millions of theories about the things that happen in the series, and they believe they are true fans for following and making these theories, since for them, only they can understand Rick and Morty, and therefore only their opinion would be valid. And don't get me wrong, despite the joke at the beginning of the video, if you really like Rick and Morty, like the themes that the series addresses and make theories about the series, that doesn't make you a toxic person, but we know that these fans exist and that the creators of the series like to make fun of these fans, as happened in the fourth season of the series, in which we have an episode with fascist Morty, in which he threatens Rick, saying that he wants to have a classic adventure of Rick and Morty, let it be simple and fun, and this is clearly a representation of those annoying and toxic fans who take Rick and Morty much more seriously than they should. Another episode that did something similar was the episode in which Rick says he accepted Jesus, which is clearly an idea opposite to everything that had been shown in the series until then, which greatly irritated this type of more hardcore fan of the series, with the idea of Rick saying something he was supposed to never say. This last episode, I believe, served as a great break in expectations, for these more hardcore fans of the series, since it supposedly has all the elements that fans most wanted to see. We have Evil Morty, who is already a character extensively used in theories, we have Rick Prime who is the character that currently represents this idea of the canonicity of the story, and of Rick's origin, and we have a great epic ending with a very fun final battle, and yes, the episode is excellent, but... Notice the way subtle how the creators of the series are making fun of some fans, completely breaking their expectations. Evil Morty, for example, had last been seen, in the episode of the multiverses, entering that dimensional rift, and many theories were made about his return, and when he appears in the episode, it is in the most casual and simple way possible. It's almost as if the creators of the series are giving everything the fans want, in a form of parody, it's as if they are saying, do you want Evil Morty? So let's put him in the episode, as casually and randomly as possible, do you want Rick Prime? Let's put him as a cliché villain, who sets traps that give the characters time to escape. Do you want references to Rick's past? Let's put a lot of them, and in the most satirical way possible, with rights and giant robots themed like Rick's wife. And although Rick Prime is defeated, it's a very pessimistic ending, for several reasons. Firstly, whoever defeats Rick Prime isn't Rick, since it was Evil Morty who tricked him and managed to capture him, and that was terrible for Rick, since he was obsessed with Rick Prime and we know that Rick wanted to defeat him to show himself superior, and that wasn't what happened. At the end of the episode, Rick realizes that the victory was empty and weightless for him. And for me, this is a parallel to what the toxic and annoying fans wanted from the series. It's as if the creators of the series were sending a message. Are you watching to see the return of Evil Morty in an epic way with a grandiose plot? No, he will appear casually, without major developments in the story. 
Do you think that only the episodes with Rick Prime are good? Why do they address Rick's past? Well, it's over, Rick Prime was defeated. Has the series lost its meaning for you? Are you going to stop watching now? This message is especially symbolic if you think that this was not the last episode of the season. In fact, it takes place in the middle of season 7, with 5 more episodes in a row. This ending in which Rick is empty and without purpose, represents very well the idea that if you get too attached to looking for something very specific, you may be a little frustrated and without purpose when you achieve it. Perhaps the message from the series creators with this episode is things like Rick's past, or that major plots that affect the canonicity of the story, are not that important, compared to other aspects of the series, and that in fact it is the fans who care about it more than they should. Another possibility is that the creators of the series do not agree with anything I said in this video, and that they only made this episode to make fun of YouTube channels like mine, which make this type of video. But what about you? What did you think of the episode? Leave it in the comments, and if you like Rick and Morty, I invite you to watch my video with 66 facts about the series. I'll leave this video on the final screen. That's it my people. Until next time, Demonic Hogs.